We went to Palm Beach to a secret meeting of some corporate America interests who were planning and strategizing on, you know, how to deal with Trump. And it was pretty revealing because, you know, once again, we discovered that there was no coherent game plan or path. Once again, a great opportunity to hear from a voice in the conservative side of things who not wildly crazy about Trump, but not crazy enough and wildly enthusiastic enough about anybody else to stop Trump. Oh, there's a lot going on we don't see. It's all under the radar. In the last election cycle, 400 individuals and families gave more money than everybody else combined. The American Opportunity Alliance, which is this network of high wealth individuals, I'd call this the business establishment of the country who are gathering here today to try and figure out the future post Super Tuesday. And I don't think it's a world that they expected to see. Let me see. This is a drudge today. It says world order at risk <laughs> with a picture of Donald Trump. So when you were planning to come here before, you were probably assuming that there'd be a nominee, but it probably wasn't Donald Trump, I I'm guessing. No, probably not. <laughs> probably right. not. Well, I think this election is uh, very much a microcosm of the broader debate we've been having over the years about what the role of government is. We've lost a lot of our freedoms. Uh, I think the Constitution is in peril. Uh, and uh, I think we're a country that uh, has lost its way. Is, is there concern in this group about the notion of a Trump presidency, uh, uh, you know, a convention strategy, or to get behind Ted Cruz? Or is there a consensus in the group, or is it? You know, there's not. We're freedom-loving people, so we don't want to cram down any particular set of perspectives. Is the, is the chatter then, oh, oh my god, Donald Trump, or this looks like it might happen, let's just figure out how to deal with it? Some, oh my god, Donald Trump. There's some, gee, uh, how is this going to play out in reality? A lot of Trump curiosity, of yeah. course. Are you optimistic about the future of the country? I'm trying to be. <laughs> <laughs> As a good Catholic boy, I'm told, I don't have to be optimistic, but I have to be hopeful. And so you're hopeful, uh, no matter who's the nominee of the party, you're hopeful. Of the party. <laughs> <laughs> of the party. <laughs>